independency very, very early. But I remember the last time she was working at this place, she says, Akeem, this is the last time that I'm going to leave you. And I said, Mom, what are you talking about? Like, this is, this is, this is what you do. Like, I, I get it. You're going out, you're working, so we can have some money. Like, it's not a big deal. But she says, no. I'm tired of this. And I remember she went back on the plane and she came back. And we went to this new place. And this new place was our new home. It was, a, it was a big trailer home. And she said, this is where we're staying. And I said, wow, this is, this is cool. And I'll never forget, because at that moment, we had nothing in that place, just our bags. We didn't have a bed, we didn't have a couch. We had three towels, and we had about a bag of our clothes. And at this moment, like, I never forget, I remember the, the picture so vividly. My mom came in one time, and she was buttering this bread of toast. And all she had was the bread of toast. She had three cans of pop, and she had butter. And I remember my mom was buttering the toast. And she gave me the toast. And as I was eating the toast, I realized that, man, why is my toast so soggy? Like, why is it so wet? And then my mom turns around and I realized that the reason why my bread and my toast was so soggy was because she was crying. Because here we go, we come to Canada for a better life. My dad said, look, you gotta take care of him. I'm gonna send you money as much as I can, but he's ultimately in your heart. My mom had me when she was 18 years old. She was a child. She didn't know how to take care of a child herself. But she's buttering this bread, I'm eating this toast, and she's saying, because I knew at that moment again, she felt like she failed her son. And I remember at that age, this song just kept playing over and over again. Like every Sunday, we come home from church, and mom would instantly start cleaning. A couple months later, you know, we finally got some stuff, and she would instantly start cleaning. And the song was a song by Sam Cooke that says, um, change is going to come. Change is going to come. And I was trying to understand, why does she keep playing this song every time? I'm just trying to say Change is going to come. Change is going to come. Change is going to come. And I ultimately started to believe that. You see, I believe that eventually if you tell yourself something enough time, you start to believe it. In my mind, whether I realized it or not at that time, my subconscious was saying, man, change is going to come. Change is going to come. Change is going to come. 